They told us gravity was a force, a pull, an attraction between masses, but what if it's not? What if gravity is actually compression? What if gravity is how the simulation saves space, organizing reality not through force but through information? Physicist Melvin Vopson has proposed something radical. That gravity may not be a fundamental force at all, but a consequence of how the universe stores, compresses, and simplifies data. In this view, matter doesn't fall. It collapses into lower informational complexity. The simulation clusters objects not because they're attracted, but because it's more efficient. The more that comes together, the less the system has to track. The less detail it needs to render, the more coherent the field. This is infodynamics, the physics of information. It suggests that the cosmos behaves like a machine minimizing clutter. Gravity in this frame is not a mystery, it's a memory function. This is what monks felt in silence, what sages whispered through mantras. That when your life becomes still, it becomes ordered. That when your thoughts scatter, so does the world around you. Ancient teachings always hinted that the world is illusion, maya because it's rendered, that dharma brings order because it aligns with structure, that karma is realignment, not punishment but recalculation. Now, science suggests that the universe might be a processor, and gravity? It's the signal that says, this is more efficient, this is the cleaner field, this is the tighter packet of energy. Even space itself may not be continuous. It may be pixelated, just like a digital screen, which means your position, your mass, your field, are all just variables on a grid. And the more aligned you are, the simpler the math becomes, the less friction in the field, the fewer instructions needed to keep your life together. So when your mind is scattered, when your choices fracture your frequency, the system requires more data to maintain your render. Reality feels heavy, unstable, delayed. But when you sit in stillness, when you practice gratitude, when you live with clarity, gravity tightens, not physically, energetically. You begin to feel grounded, centered, pulled toward what's meant. Because the universe isn't pulling you, it's organizing you. Gravity might not be a force, it might be a function, a signature of alignment. And if the simulation favors compression, then righteousness is the most efficient code, not because it's holy, but because it's simple, because it takes less effort to hold. Live clearly, think less, align your actions with your inner structure, and let gravity do the rest. This is transcendent reality. Live the code.